my name is Reiko Christine. I am with Dallas Baptist Association VVS training team. Now I want to talk a little bit about VVS follow-up. When you hear VVS follow-up and the session title VVS follow-up, many people say, okay, now VVS is over. How do you follow up with new families, parents, children? How we follow up with the children who made a decision? How we follow up to connect them to church? But Let's talk about follow-up in a little bit bigger uh, view today. Uh, VVS follow-up is not only for children and or not only for families, but you all also need to plan the VVS follow-up for the volunteers, the follow-up for leaders, follow-up for church leaders who might make a decision for next year's VVS. Also follow-up with the whole church family who might not be interested in helping VVS, but they need to hear the great stories, the testimonies, and the needs for the following years and why we do VVS. So let's talk about a good uh, follow-ups and keys for effective follow-up. First things first, you need to have good registration to have a good follow-up. You cannot just say, let's prepare for awesome um, decoration of awesome um, classrooms and lessons and now VVS is done and okay let's do follow-up because it's done that's too late you need to plan the follow-up even before VVS planning starts you need to have a good registration make sure you have a designated volunteer who does a good registration that means not only children's name but address the parents and get to know their families who invited who Lots of those information needed to be uh, clear. Sometimes you just give paper to parents to register. Some parents might fill everything, some parents might not. So you wanna make sure that you have designated volunteer, follow-up volunteer who checks the registration, make sure everything, all the information you want is there, plus the connected family, the pre-existing church family who are connected to that new family why this family is coming back only doing the VBS, or maybe they're the, the new visitors. You want to gather all the information during the registration. That's so important. Good training. That means not only you as a director or the planning team wanting to do the follow-up, you need to train the whole team, your VBS team, including your youth volunteers or your senior volunteers, how to connect with children, how to get information about their families, how to ask right kind, right questions to talk about, um, to gather information. So you need to train uh, the volunteers to be able to have conversation, not only just a hi, how are you, line up here, here's the bathroom, to to ask questions, to get to know them, pray for them, connect with them, find out about their families. Um, those training is so important. Also, um, not only just planning for VVS, uh, as you plan for VVS follow-up, you wanted to see like whole year um, vision of your church ministry and you need to kind of figure out where your VVS is gonna be placed. Maybe for some of the churches, VVS is end of the year, some sort of celebration, but also harvesting time, spiritual harvesting time. You have run the children's minister for a whole year, and you want to make sure all those graduating students will get to make a decision to follow Christ during the VVS. Maybe if that is your goal, your follow-up might be a little bit different. So for some of you, maybe VVS is just like introduction to church to connect to the fall event, then to the winter event, then the Easter event, and then come back to VVS. So you want to see where your VVS is um, being a part of your church vision, your children's ministries planning, and then plan the follow-up of this to be connected to the fall, or maybe you even need to do something for the Easter with the promotion for your VVS to just have this flow going. This is so important um, to have a very um, effective family ministry, all your own plan planning for a good follow-up. 
Now, I said follow up for not only children, but parents, the family members, VBS volunteers, and then church leaders and church families are important. Now, if you have a handout um, that you can click on it to print it out, on the page two of the handout has a sample of follow-up detail plan. Now, this plan I put together, you can do these kind of things before VBS. Doing the VBS, you want to do this kind of thing. And then after the VBS, you might want to take this kind of action to have um, follow-up. So I would recommend you print this out. Use this for your um, volunteer training. Uh, also kind of have this in mind as you program something. Do I have volunteer doing the VBS to do this kind of thing? Besides teaching and feeding and cleaning, do I have a follow-up updating, connecting volunteer? So this is very, very um, important. So I recommend you go through this. Now, let's get back to um, the follow-up for the um, ideas. This one, the administrative guide from LifeWay has a designated place to talk about different follow-up ideas and family night's idea. Now, some church does family night before the VBS to get people excited about VBS, to promote VBS, to get the family back, the church members recruited for volunteers. Some churches, like our church, does family night as more of the celebration, reporting, um, kind of connecting from VBS to the church regular um, ministry. So you can plan either family night being before events or after events, or it could be a reunion event during the fall festival. Some of the church like to reuse all these decorations and game themes to create the fall festival and invite all the children back to the church more like a reunion of the PBS as a family night. Now for family night ideas, you can um, look at the first page. I have printed out the different resources that might help you for the follow-up and the family night planning. Now besides this administrative guide, um, the library has um, published the um, children's ministry magazine that's especially dealing with um, VVS related issues and VVS follow up ideas. So I recommend that you uh, get hold of that magazine. If you don't have it, I will leave um, the information package that includes the magazine as well as the catalog and different resources available that are listed here at Dallas Baptist Association office. You can contact James from Dallas Baptist Association and you can pick them up to use it for your training or just for you to read. Um, for the, the one that um, the children who accepted Christ, you want to plan the baptism class or new church, um, a new believers class. One of the resources I wanted to highly recommend that's new from LifeWay is called the Big Picture Questions and Answers for Kids. These, this is an awesome uh, resources. Now it's talking about um, questions and answers about God and people. Jesus, the Bible, and so on and on. And this has preschool version as well as children's version, um, elementary school children's version. Uh, also, they have a poster. This is a great um, resource to cover the basic Christianity, Christianity 101 with children. And you can even involve the family members to go through this together. For the um, um, one of the books I listed there, it's called It's Worth It. This is by Lifeway. This one has a lot of great information why the VBS is worth it. Maybe you have a church family who might not be excited about VBS. Maybe you have a pastors or the other ministry staff that do not understand why you are so excited about VBS. This would be a great book before and after VBS to um, use it for your follow-up to your church families and church leaders. So I full, highly recommend those. And um, also, uh, you can look into a detail um, on this handout. There are lots of ideas in the magazine as well as administrative guide of what kind of food, what kind of time, what kind of activity you can do during the family night. 
um, what kind of information you want to give to the families, um, what kind of fun activities. Um, because it's a building kind of construction theme, you can do food like build your own tacos or build your own pizza, or build your own sandwiches. The activities like huge uh, Jenga or Lego or use whatever leftover materials from VVS to create something funny, competition. There are lots of good ideas in administrative guide as well as the magazine. Also, you can visit um, online, lifeway.com, to get more information. Now, other follow-up ideas that I've been uh, learning from the BVS conferences I went recently, it's called Three Touches in Three Days. That's recommended by Lifeway. Now, you want to have a group of volunteer follow-up team um, to make three touches, either emails, text, visitation, phone calls within three days to movie, movie night um, with a VVS related theme a week after the VVS. Also having a music camp with a VVS songs, food truck event. Maybe you have a church family who might have a food truck. Bring them to the food, um, church and do the food truck event in the parking lot of the church. Also having VVS mission report night. The VVS comes with a great mission um, activities. Sometimes you get so excited doing the ra funding raise and coin drives and talk about lots of missions and everybody donate things, but how about doing the mission report night a month after with the pictures of re children who received the items or the um, places, the missionaries who received those items, maybe have those pictures and slideshows ready and gather all those family back with food and the mission report night. So there are lots of great ideas that you can find through those um, magazines and resources. Thank you so much. I hope you have a good follow-up this year.